before we take a look at how to make shoes from a car tire and some of the deleted scenes from my visit to this amazing Boma in Tanzania. I just want to express my gratitude to all of you. I want to say thank you. I don't talk like this very often, but what you guys have done now for Emmy's fundraiser, which is current, which currently stands at 35,000 US dollars, is amazing. This is going to be so life-changing. When Emmy, um, I just chatted with her yesterday and she said everyone started crying when they heard about how much you guys love everyone in the village and what you guys are doing for them to, to raise their standard of living and improve their lives. So, uh, yeah, I don't even know what to say. I'm speechless. It was, it was amazing to live there and, and, and um, experience this lifestyle firsthand. And I'm very grateful to everyone in this Boma for um, for uh, accepting me, inviting me to stay there and live there and being allowed to experience this. And, and also being so open about sharing their lifestyle with, with all of you. So uh, I've already moved on. I'm in a new country, but uh, yeah, again, thank you guys. And, and uh, yeah, I don't know what, I say, what else to say. Probably the worst intro ever, but let's Let's go and, and see how you make shoes from a car tire, plus some of the other scenes from, you know, Don Jr., Don Sr., and uh, Mango at the barbecue. For the past 10 days, I've been walking around in these shoes. You call these Maasai shoes as well, do you? Yes. Yeah? Yes. But I bought them in Zanzibar. And in this tribe, they have a different style. Yes. Which you, what do you call your style of shoes? This is Katapori. This is Katapori. Yes, and the katapori. shoes you're making for me now? Antenna. The antenna shoes. Yes, antenna shoes. They call it the antenna shoes yeah. because they're going to put these 5G receptors wi -Fi. for a great Wi Fi connection uh, on the shoe. So, uh, yeah, you don't have the antenna shoe. Yeah, no. yes. It's going to be looking something like that. Yeah. So, this here is the master. He's not only the greatest uh, goat slayer. <laughs> he's also the the shoemaker in the town so he's now been been cutting up this this tire that we bought in the market Let me do it. so um so uh yeah they will fit my size my shoe i'm a size 43 yeah. and <coughs> it's quite a lot of work you've been at it for maybe like half an hour now already for making yeah so the reason they wear these tires it's yeah other than the fact that you know an old tire um, uh, can be cheaper than buying a, a new shoe it's that these are very durable these are so strong so that when you step on things making when you're stepping on like things you're walking yes. out with the cows in the bush, yeah. in the bush they yeah. don't uh, it doesn't come through yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm not strong <laughs> enough to make this shoe <laughs> hold on Let's put some. No, 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 Not there? Some. Oh, little, the wrong place. Little, little, little. Which cut place? Here, cut here. Like here. Little, yeah. Cut here. Okay, let's see, let's see. Cut little. Ah! Yeah. That, okay, so. Now. <laughs> yeah. This not. That's why I'm not a see. shoemaker. <laughs> you see. Ah, there we go. So he's been at it now for something like, like um, 30 minutes at least. Perfect. Yeah? I think so. Maybe, yes. little, what do you think? Sh like shorter like this? No, oh. this nice. It's nice? Yeah. Ah, oh, that's a good cut. All right, there's a lot of um, cutting to do, I think, before we kind of start start fixing the, the straps and the antenna. So we'll see you guys in maybe 10 minutes. We'll see how yes. far along we are. What do you think? Yeah. Nice? Nice. It's not your first time making shoes, I can see that. Yeah. How many like this have you made? Long time. Yeah, for 10 years. For 10 years? Yeah, for making. You've been making shoes for everyone then? Y yes. So this is the snake hunter who found the snake yesterday. Yes. Well, how did you see it? You move it like this. You be, go be, be, between those three things. 
on the on the wall. Yes, you put it there, and then you go NASA house there. Ah, inside my home. Yes. He's still alive. Like this. You think he's dead? Now you see, I kill maybe three. Three snakes. One there, two here. There we go. Step two into uh, turning a used tire into a a um, a shoe is that we're gonna burn the in yeah we need something to kind of attach the straps to. Antenna is ready. It's hot enough now. Ooh. More, not hot enough. Yeah. Yes. The tire is so strong. Strong. This is gonna be the, the most durable shoes ever. You can have these shoes for th 30 years. Yeah. Strong. But anyway, we have one one antenna up and running. Making progress. This we're gonna cut, right? Yes, later cut. Okay. Oh man, the smell. <laughs> Going for the other antenna. Yeah. <laughs> Can you see the size? Yeah. yeah. The first shoe is complete. And it's mighty fine. What do we do with this? Do we cut this? Yes, you cut. Oh, we cut that later. Yes. Okay, so not completely finished. Yeah. It's also starting to rain. But anyway, there is quite uh, intricate the system of knots here. But apparently, it should be fairly easy to, to just slide on. Foot in and then the strap. Double strap. Look at that. It actually fits. Wow, it fits really well. Now I have, now I have no. one one antenna shoe. No. Wait. I did it wrong. Yeah. This. <laughs> Let's use a knife. There we go. Perfect. Like that? Yes. Yeah. We're on the last stretch here now. Just finishing up the uh, the rames, I think you call it. What do you call this in uh, Maasai? This? Embira. Embira. Yeah. Now these shoes are indestructible, they say. So this is what the shoe looks like. After Mango added some uh, modifications, you can see here. These, uh, he added some jewelry, and that really helps you when, you, when you're walking uh, to keep the shoe on your foot. 
I must also show you how awesome they look from underneath. Probably the coolest shoes ever made. I just realized that uh, I was looking at the footage yesterday and I didn't actually even like show you the finished product. So this is the end of the greatest shoemaking video of all time. Now let's roll tape on, on the rest of the, um, the footage I have from the Boma. So this will be my last, my last video from the Maasai village. And once again, thank you so much. Uh, you guys have made a world of difference by, by, um, by helping Emmy's fundraiser. They're so deserving. I know my video didn't really express how on the brink they are living. And on the brink, I mean, there are days there where they're like, we don't have food. Like, what do we do? You know, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to figure something out here. And uh, now that they're gonna be able to build this mill with your help, um, and also invest in, in solar chargers. I mean, their life is gonna is gonna be so much easier. Again, the women cried when they when they heard that they no longer have to trek for hours with the donkeys into town to to um, to grind up their their maize. Now, let's roll tape on some of the footage I didn't um, put in my barbecue video. I still can't show you all. I mean, it, it's just too hardcore. But I can I can show you a little more than I did, provided I I blur out some parts. So. Let's roll tape. Do not watch this video. Go and watch a makeup tutorial or something. Luku just decided to grace us with his presence. Mr. Mango! Yo! Money! <laughs> Easily the funniest man in the whole tribe. <laughs> Despite the fact you don't say much. <laughs> hey, you, are you come to try some goat's feet with us? I just know that he's going to have some entertaining way of eating this goat foot. <laughs> you can see this is quite the first side of it. Nice one? Yeah. You know, you you can... I guess I'll have to try a little. You know, goat feet is generally not my forte. Yes. But uh, can eat. if I can eat it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Crunchy. <laughs> As you'd expect from goat feet. <laughs> wow, you love it. You. <laughs> I'm struggling here. <laughs> you guys have seen me eat a lot of weed stuff. This is, is stopping it. Yeah, you might come up again. It's good. I, you know, when you know what it is you're eating. Yeah, it's better if you don't. Mm. Well, there's this is prime now. beef. So this is Kobe beef. Kobe beef. Put it in your hand. Come on. Beer. <laughs> <laughs> cut, cut, roll, cut, tape. Mango, how, how are you keeping this down? What? How are you keeping this down? You know, struggling? Nice. It's nice. Yeah. Okay, let's sit here and concentrate. It's beautiful. Okay. I like how you're thinking positive thoughts. That's what we need to do. It's beautiful. The sound of it. No, we can't. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, almost there. Mm -hmm. I haven't struggled this much since that cockroach in Bangkok. <laughs> oh, those cockroaches are good. They fry them up. A little yeah, but spicy. once kind of you have the legs in your throat and they don't go anywhere, yeah. you're like. Mm. You can wash it down with some tiny... Hold on. Hey, okay. Mm. So they said that... Uh, mm. Yeah, they don't have to go anywhere. Mm. Yeah. Mm. 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 Gone. Mm. Why wow, you loving the goat's foot? <laughs> it's gone. Yeah. It's gone. It's, it's down. It's down. Gone. It's down. It's somewhere. It's not All right. Open. How's it going? Tambo. Coming. I'm okay. You coming to the goat party? Yeah. What were they saying? Yeah. Uh, we were just, they were just saying, let him know for sure that we're starting to eat now because nothing goes to waste. Every little thing will be used by yeah. somebody. And they also, the bone, um, 
You'll see them. They'll use. They'll open it up to you get the bone marrow. Is that what it's called? Okay. Yeah, and suck that out because that's a lot of good. Uh, I'll try it all. Yeah. I'll try it all. Cool. Nice attitude. But to go that was that was rough. Okay. <laughs> Let's see about the progress with the goat. Mm -hmm. Like this? Yes. Hold on. Like that? Okay. Okay. Take. Aha! I don't remember. It's the first thing you guys have ever seen me cough up on film. Ooh. Okay, yeah. I think we reached my limit. <laughs> Start with the goat feet, liver, Whoa. and that's it. Okay. How do you, wow, they're loving it. No, 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 no. Oh. Good one. You know, when I kind of thought we were going to have a village barbecue, I was envisaging like a nice, no, I was envisaging like a nice bonfire. We're all sitting there with our spears, with like meat, and we're like, wow, this is delicious. I wasn't expecting like a cannibal feast, like let's, let's eat this goat raw. But okay. We'll get to the barbecue. No tear to judge. <laughs> you went really far away. Yeah. Okay. That's quite the track. There. We can use this for something. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so beautiful. Hi. The first snake. What kind of snake is it? Dangerous? Uh -huh. no snake, yeah. He doesn't seem too afraid. Yeah. Oh, they kill you here. No, no, don't kill him. No. Let's leave him be. Let's find a bigger snake. Ah, yes. And big. No, here. No problem. All right. No, but I liked him. Got it going. Hello. 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 Get the fire going. Uh -huh. Tomatoes and onion. Yeah. Seasoning. Use the, the wedding ring to open the beer. Where's the wedding ring? Oh no. The gold bracelet. Thank you. This is an eagle. Eagle. Eagle, Tanzanian beer. Where is mommy? Where is she? She's coming, isn't she? Oh, there we go.
so happy. You guys coming in? No? The house is all yours if you want. I guess not. I think they're just content chilling. All right, well, the door is open. You know where to find me. Funny. back into the, the darkness of the bedroom. You guys gonna guard the house for me? <laughs> All right, see you later. Be nice to each other. Stop, let me see, let me see like this. It's a, it's a glass, it's a beer bottle. Not knife. <laughs> this is funny, so I was here chilling with Don Jr. And the mom's coming. As soon as I got the phone, he stopped kind of uh, screaming, but they were like, eh, communicating. Where they're trying to get the mom to come in here because my door is open. Because that cow likes to go in and out. And then he sees that I'm here, then he just walks out. Don Junior, I thought we were gonna take a nap together. You're so warm and cuddly. Oh no, they're coming, they're coming. They're coming. Don Junior, yeah. Put your feet like that. You're not running anywhere. <laughs> oh, it's going to be funny when they're all storming in here. So that's what happened. The kids took Don Jr. prisoner. They threw him in this bin. And the mom's just outside. Come out, come out. I will help you. Come here, come here. Come here, come here. Come here, come here. Oh, how do we do this? Oh, there we go. Come here, come here. Here. Are you putting them all inside? I was gonna let Don Jr. out. You wanna see mommy? <laughs> and we are back home. Well done, donkey. Good job. He did a good job. He's very strong. Yes. And now we gotta get the, uh, hold on. Oh, oh. Oh, you take one? No. Yeah, they take it. Mm. Come on, Suruk, Mape. Look, here's your friend. Oh, he doesn't want to move, does he? You hear that? Yeah, yeah. That's the sound. Yeah. He says this is the sound yeah. that the birds make when there is a snake around. Yeah. So we're now going to look, go to the tree. He said he saw one snake today. 
and chances are we can now find another or at least spot it from afar. Now keep in mind this is black mamba territory so you gotta kind of watch out. He's in that tree. Yeah, yeah. Let's find him. Should we go inside? Go under? I don't see him. What color? Like you see this. Yeah. You see? Wow, that's a good spot. It's a green one, is it? Yeah. I'll find it on you for guys for camera on film too. Hmm? Yeah, I'm gonna get it on film. Hold on. There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. There yeah, we go. Yeah. You see right there? Yeah. Let me put there, there, you see the shape? Yes. That's it. This is chef, yeah. Yeah. So funny, just some random cat walking in here. It's like nine o'clock, trying to sleep. Just checking today's footage. It's muy bueno. Oh, a cockroach. Whenever you turn the light on here, you kind of see things you wish you didn't see. So it's kind of it's best to just keep it, keep uh, keep it off. That's why I just have the. I, I prefer to just have the um, these two on, or even a third one there. And then, uh, yeah, whatever kind of, my door is like open throughout the night because that cow wanders in and out. And the goats are, once I put that one up, I mean, the goats generally don't jump over. So, yeah. Yeah, let's go back to the darkness. Listen, here they are. So. Don Senior and oh, the goats we're gonna eat are actually hanging out together. They become friends. Oh. There. He really sticks out because he's he's all black. Hey Don Senior! Enjoying your, your new herd, your new friends! <laughs> oh this is so funny. Oh, this is great. 
happy to see him. he's found his uh, his new home. He's not never going to be eaten, by the way. He's going to stay a pet. Oh, you got it? Yeah. I just witnessed something truly hilarious. I was standing outside my hut over there, and Don Senior is really is really loud. Like he likes to he likes to scream a lot. And I saw him in in front of a group of other goats, and he was kind of alone, running around and like, Bleh! and then he started walking, and they all followed him up here. So I'm going to see as I round the corner here if he's still kind of taking on a leadership role here or uh, what's going on. Yeah, there he is. He's right there in the middle, you see. Oh, he's over there butting heads with someone. The born leader, just like his, uh, his American namesake. Hey, how's it going over there? Mom. Oh. Look at him. Where he goes, the others follow. Oh, there's Don Jr. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. That was so funny. That is the actual mother of Don Jr. And that is Don Jr. So when I rocked up, uh, I didn't recognize him at first, but yeah, Don Sr. was hanging with, uh, with uh, uh, Melania. Nice one. Look at him over there. He's checking out. Like, hey, stay away from, from uh, Melania. Oh, here he comes. Oh, they're butting heads. They're in love. They're clearly in love. Just go down us. You show him, Don Senior. Oh no, Melania's a bit angry. The politics of a uh, oh, goatdom, goat hierarchy. Not easy. I guess he's finding his way. It's pretty funny though that he was actually hanging with Don Jr. and Melania when I arrived. I'll leave you guys to it. Hang in there, Don. Back to the back to the goat party. Wow, this looks like fun. It's a gorgy. A goat orgy happening at this tree over here. They are just annihilating that tree. They are really having their way with this. I guess it's a huge bush. Let's go and see what's happening. Oh no, they've seen me. How cool is that? The license plate goat showing the way. Wow, he must be real special seeing as he had to to uh, register with the government to be a goat. Hmm. You learn new things every day being Geraldo. I just woke up and the first thing I see is Melania bringing Don Jr. to my house. Mm. Hey there. He's hungry. Let's go for some tea. My goat is coming. Yes. Don, Don Senior. Don Senior. Don Senior. Don Senior. <laughs> the black one. Yes. That's all his new friends. Now he has new friends, no problem. No. They accept him. No problem. Yeah. They're not like, hey, you're not my friend, go away. No, no, no. They're it's not like that. Okay. Now he's a big boss. Now, oh, he's already the boss. Yes. Don <laughs> Senior. <laughs> <laughs> Look, there's Don Junior, yes. the little one. There's Melania up front. And there, that's Don Junior. There, there, by there, Don Senior. Yeah. Tomorrow I put the medicine. 
Medicine? Yes, for girl. For him. Oh, so he, so he gets strong? Yeah. I thought maybe he was going to make medicine of him, but that's a big no-no. No one's touching Don Senior. Jesus, calm down guys. Usually the donkeys, when they see me, they run around, they run away, but now they don't give a damn. Geraldo is a little under the influence to say the least, so you know, please bear with me as I explain to you what it is like here at night, because I know that's probably the number one question people have. How do you cope at night? I mean, they just killed a black mamba in your hut earlier today, and here you are still sleeping, or well, not sleeping, I'm sitting here in the same hut, I'm sitting barefoot, uh, you know, this is uh, this is under the bed, this is under the, the bed I'm sleeping on, and there's not much really protecting you from the elements here. There is, uh... okay, so I closed my windows, if you can call it like this, but I mean, it doesn't really matter because whatever wants to enter this hut can just enter through the, through the roof here or come in through... Um, through um yeah little cracks in the in the shit slash mud mix which this house consists of so the only thing i really noticed and, and i mean it, it may be a coincidence Ooh, i pressed the button and i stopped filming the only thing i, re I really noticed is that last night there was all of a sudden like a lot of cockroaches in here and i'll show you what i mean so for over a week there's been nothing but now everywhere i look you will see this and like i just um so i've just been out and i just lifted off this sheet this one i don't i don't really use this i mean it's not cold here at night i, I sleep in this hoodie and sometimes i don't even sleep in a hoodie it's not that cold out here um oh man you really should vlog before you start um the Jack Daniels diet. Actually, that's not what I had today. It was beers. Anyway, concentrate, Christian Shoulder. Concentrate. Where was I going with this? Yeah, okay. This is how I sleep. My legs, my feet are right there. Ah. And my head is up here. And sometimes I wake up at night. I go outside and I take a leak. I'll show you exactly what that looks like in a minute. It's just pitch black. Yeah, I mean, you see nothing. You hear the cows. The cows are living next to me. Uh, right now, the goats are not living uh, living here. When I first moved in, we had the goats in there for the first uh, couple of nights, three, four nights. Now they are not there. They're elsewhere. They're in another house. There was also a cow over there. Uh, and you'd be surprised. I mean, only in the morning when, when the mama goat starts screaming outside does the goats get rowdy and they, they jump over the fence and they start running around. But other than that, having animals, uh, goats and cows, like in the same room as you, it didn't bother me at all. The cockroaches, which arrived yesterday. Oh, that's where I was going. The cockroaches, which arrived yesterday, I, um, I don't notice. Like, they don't crawl over me. You know, it's just like whenever I, whenever I look at a wall and I start, like, investigating... Um, okay, here we got one, for example. Why are you in my bed? Okay, I kind of... Well, oh, he's dead. Okay. Well, I... Hold on. Anyway, so, I'm, yeah, so when you start kind of investigating where, where it is that you're sleeping, I mean, you'll see spiders, you'll see... I mean, this is probably, like, where the, the mamba was chilling or where he was hunting or his... I, I hear another thing. Man, concentrate. <laughs> okay. The first couple of nights, I used to have a little problem sleeping because there was uh, mice or some kind of, they call it a mice, uh, some kind of like rodent, like rummaging around on the roof. And you know what? Come to think of it, last night was the first night that I didn't hear him. And it may be because of that snake. 
Now, coincidentally, last night was also the first night that I started noticing that there are cockroaches everywhere. Uh, so, um, where am I going with this? So it was uh, here, I think it was under or beneath one of these that the mamba was found. Do they give live births? I don't know. Maybe, maybe there's more of them in there. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, I mean, hopefully we won't we won't find out. But anyway, here is the here is the ceiling. As you can see, if you're a tiny member, you're not going to have any problem uh, maneuvering your way through these through this maze of a ceiling and over to Heraldo's tippity tippity toes, which will be right outside here with that cockroach, which is now going down from my bed. Uh, is there a point to all this? I don't know. Anyway, let's go and check. Yeah, so here's the door. Hold on. There's a couple of... So most of the most of the time, I just keep this door open. You know, and that's how the, the cat comes. So this is... Outside a hut at night, it's just nothing. There's a lot of stars here, a lot of sounds. So when I wanna take a leak, this is what I do. I venture over here. And I stand here. You hear that? I don't know if that's hyenas or wild dogs, but they have both here. Hey, doggy, are you out here hunting mambas? So again, how to spot the difference between a wild dog and a normal dog? I don't know. But he walked away, so I just assume he was a normal doggy. Sometimes at night they like to scratch their back up against my uh, so here's my bed right in here. Oh no way there's a scorpion trying to go in. Get out of there. You're not going into Geraldo's bedroom. Are you kidding me? He really is trying to go in isn't he? Is the f no he is going in. Oh no he just went in. <laughs> Hold on, let's get him before he like goes because small scorpions are dangerous. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Geraldo, come on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What the hell am I gonna kill him with? Here, it's this one. This is where he just ventured in. Now I assume he has not been able to venture past, but as soon as I open this one, we're gonna see him on the inside. Hold on. No way. Oh, there he is, you see? You see? You see him? There he is, he's a tiny one. Okay, now those are the scorpions you actually have to worry about. Uh, it's kind of, I think it's the same with the, with the cobras, so like an older, oh, another, another friend. Okay, this is gonna be problematic. I'm gonna to have to kill this one because as you can see here, uh, this is where Geraldo is chilling. We can't ha have him. So Scorpion wouldn't attack you, but let's say right here, I'm sleeping, I'm turning, you know, if I'm this way, or let's say most of the time I'm like this with my legs out, I'm turning. And then he's just decided to, wow, how am I gonna kill him now? Here's the thing, I he snuck through that. Oh man. Yep. Definitely a scorpion. And here's the thing, if I close this one, he's gonna be able to go under there, you see? Okay. Hold on. 
I'm gonna find a stick and I'm gonna end him. Hold on, I don't really even have any sticks. Maybe I should light him on fire with a, with a candle. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, I'm gonna cover him in uh, in this. Geraldo investigates. Will a scorpion handle candle wax? Let's see. Oh no, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is not easy to do whilst filming. Oh, I don't wanna, also, I don't wanna light like my hut on fire, you know? Hold on, hold on. There we go. Oh no. What do I do if the hut catches on fire? The light almost went out, and you know it's not hitting him. Wow. Oh no, he's going wild. He's going nuts. He's stinging. Yeah, it's working, it's working. It's working. It's working. I think I burnt him. I got him. He put up a valiant fight though, but he's gone now, I think. Let's just, ooh. Let's just make sure that he's not like resurrected. Okay, always they're gonna check later as well and see that he really is gone. But good thing that I did this house tour with this scorpion might have uh, might have gotten the better of me tonight. Is he moving? No, he's gone. I think. Yeah, he's gone. Yeah, he's dead. Okay, let's close this one. <sighs> ah. Sorry, just candle wax. Where was I? Let's put this back where it belongs. Ooh, okay, so apart from black mambas uh, <laughs> on your bedroom floor, scorpions crawling onto your, um, through your window and into your bed, and uh, the hyenas lurking outside with the wild dogs in the shadows as you go for a, a midnight pee. Yeah, I guess it's kind of safe sleeping out here in the bush. Wow, 15 minutes. Did I really ramble on for 15 minutes about nothing but black mambas and scorpions? And the odd, on, and the odd rodge? There we go. Yeah, other than that, it's not bad. I was gonna show you how I deal with this door. So sometimes I just keep it open, but if you want to lock it, you can do this. You see, you put that one there and this one there, and then people try to come in, it stops. Okay, it's time to get my sleep on, my beauty sleep. And also tomorrow, note to self. Hoi! Ah, yeah. Note to self. Ooh. Do not vlog when intoxicated.
It's beautiful. A little bit of rain today. Can you guys see? Not sure if this rain is visible because it's very light. It's supposed to be rainy season now. So it's supposed to be, be uh, you know, this is uh, very important for them that that pond over there fills up. Hey there, do you want some attention too? Do you want some attention? <laughs> come here, come here. Come here, come here. Come here, come here. Come here, come here. Yes, come here, come here. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes. Come here. <laughs> yes, yes. No biting, no biting. No biting. No biting. <laughs> no biting. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey, hey. No biting. No biting. <laughs> you see, Don Jr. is so tired, he's getting ready for a nap. Me and me and Papa, we're gonna go to market. Yeah? Let's go, market. Yeah? I guess now, Dom Senior is signing off. Hello. Very nice. Yeah. city here in uh, Tanzania. It's looking mighty green. I'm pretty excited about... Uh, oh, here the wheels coming down. Uh, oh yeah, before anyone complains about why I'm not wearing a, a piece of clothing across my face, it's optional. Anyway, see you on the ground, where it's also optional. I love this place. What a mega city! I remember seeing uh, population projections of the year 2100 that this was going to be the most populous city in the world. Just like this, like this, like this. Okay. Yeah. Yes. All right. <laughs> That's how you hold it. Just like this. Yeah. 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 So she don't need to worry about that. So you walk a little bit like this, okay. like, where is he? Why are you talk? And she talk to her friend, yeah? She has to talk to her friend. <laughs> where is he? And then kind of, oh, okay, let's go, let's go and wake him up.
What's happening? Is it is it Gongo yes. o'clock? Okay. Gongo o'clock. Gongo o'clock. All right. Don yes. Don Junior, should we go for some Gongo? Okay. All right. <laughs> awesome, let's go. Oh, yes. you brought the light and everything. Yes. Hey Don Junior, come on. Yes. They're waiting. Yes. Well, let's go. Don Junior, you go first. Uh, oh, he doesn't want to leave me. Yes. Okay. Let's see what's happening, what all the commotion is okay. about and outside. Yeah, let me just grab my cap and then okay. I'm ready. Uh -huh. Where's the, have you seen my hat? In, oh, there we go. All right, got to roll tight. Even though we're in, uh, in a mud hut. I'll give you guys a little tour here later. Okay. What's happening? Okay. Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I guess there's something going on outside. Let's see. Let's go. Musungu. Oh, yeah, that's me. Musungu, <laughs> Musungu. 